Hello and welcome to a homily for all, a page where we look at the Gospels that were written some 2,000 years ago and see how they still have impacts on our very own lives today. Um, today we will look at the Gospel from February 7th, 2021. It is from the Gospel of Mark, uh, chapter 1, verses 29 to 39. It is a continuation of the previous week's gospel and details what happens after Jesus is preaching in the synagogue. Um, after he was done preaching, he went to one of the apostles' uh, home and the fame that he got from doing those blessings in the synagogue um, were was almost instant and people lined up to get uh, blessings and cures for illnesses and whatnot and being that Jesus full intents and purposes was um, human at the time he was tired um, so after he slept a little, he woke up early in the morning, went to a deserted place, and started to pray. Um, the apostles noticed he was missing from the house, and they searched for him, and they found him praying. Um, and they told him that everyone was looking for him because of you know, the cures that he had done the previous nights. Um, so, I'm going to leave Jesus' response to his disciples for the end of the homily. Um, I think at the end it will um, have more meaning uh, to us. So, we may not find ourselves in situation like the one that Jesus was in. But, I think if we take a deeper look into it, um, we, we do find ourselves sometimes in situations where our knowledge and our expertise is not only needed, it's essential to people. Um, the time when this is the most clear is when you're a parent. Um, your child is totally dependent on you to teach you to teach them the most basic things of life. I'm talking um, how to read the ABCs, um, potty training, tying their shoes. Your children are totally dependent on you for your insight and your knowledge as to how to do these things that we consider to be the most mundane of activities. Um, and as parents, I think we all know how tiring can be. But, no matter how tiring it is, no matter how hard our day was, we still kneel down one more time to show them the bunny ears we still sing the ABC song to them because one day we know they will do that on their own and they will look, look at us and smile it's not a smile that says look how good I am it's a smile that also beams to us Thank you. When the apostles awoke and found that Jesus was missing, they went to search for him. Like I just said, they told him every, everyone was looking for him. Jesus was deep in prayer, and they interrupted him. But he did not huff and puff. He did not, he wasn't angered that they had interrupted him. He, 
He knew that it was his task to help the children of God. No matter how tired he might have been, he got right up and he went. WWJD, what would Jesus do? Would it surprise you to find that every time you help someone in need, you were doing just that? Thank you, and I will be back next week with another homily for you.